Welcome to The Cause Effect, with your host, Carl Kozlowski, and his team of correspondents, bringing you the world's bad news badly. And now, Carl Kozlowski. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of The Cause Effect. Perhaps this week, I'm Carl Kozlowski, and perhaps this week could be the craziest week of news of all time. Of all time. Because when you hear what we're dealing with, we're dealing with the, the crazy cruise ship where people were like, they said that the th- people by the thousands were just uncontrollably crapping their pants by the end of the week. Uh, there was, um, a, they thought they made it to shore and the tugboat uh, rope broke on the way to shore. Then the buses broke down. The Pope resigned. The Vatican got hit by lightning. It just, uh, the, then the maniac cop got burned to a crisp on Ash Wednesday. It's a great week. I'm Carl Kozlowski and we've got an amazing panel this week. Our headlining special guest, rounding out Mike Marino Week here at RadioTitans.com. You know him, you love him. National headlining comic, Mike Marino. Oh, hey, man. Thanks for coming, man. Yeah. That introduction. Oh, I know how to introduce people. Believe me. In the news, we got a crazy little atmosphere here and a dog. Mm-hmm. Barking in the background. Yeah, pull the mic down just a touch more to yourself there. Mm-hmm. All right, and then uh, well, I'm visiting from New York, I believe. It's a uh, dude that I have owed a show to for a couple of years, so I'm glad to finally have him in studio, Mr. Travis Irvine. Hey everybody, thanks so much. And then uh, two of our regulars uh, back after a couple of sad weeks away. Um, I'm so glad to have him back, Scott Sycamore. It was so fucking sad, Carl. <laughs> my nigga, what's up, man? Oh, my. I mean, um, my Negro, my Negro. Uh, okay. And then um, <laughs> rounding us out, uh, another returning uh, panelist, you know, we'll love him, Scott Vinci. How you doing? I had to uncrack the Da Vinci code earlier on his phone. <laughs> so, uh, boy, what a week, huh? I mean, we, uh, you know, I'm going to just mention, at least in passing, you know, the boring news, of, uh, we had the State of the Union address. I mean, not that much funny Snooze happens with that, in. but the response was awesome. We'll get to uh, that. Hey, but, I'm uh, Im- imitating it right here. I think we're all imitating <laughs> it right here. We've all got our bottles of Rubio water. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but uh, any any thoughts? on anybody What watched? exactly happened? Because well, I, I heard the story, uh, but like... Well, I'll get to that. And it's, uh, just to say, but anybody see the State of the Union address? I didn't see the State of the mm-hmm. Union address. I was watching the movie Lincoln. Mm-hmm. Oh, were you really? Yes. Wow. At the same time. Wow. Yeah, I thought it was very... Uh, it's kind of... Uh, very patriotic. Uh, amazing time? Yeah. Yeah, right? What a Jeez. time we What did you in. think of Lincoln? I really didn't like the movie, quite honestly. Neither did I. Yeah. Awesome. Boring, right? It was too long to get through it. I had a fast forward. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think they should have called it the 13th. I mean, I what happened at the end, so... Yeah. I think Mary Todd should have shown more TNA. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, who doesn't want to see more Sally Field, because we really mm-hmm. like her. I'd like to see her field. <laughs> Good Scott, bad Scott. We that really was, like her. We really, hey, I really want to like make her. One comment about the movie. Yeah. There's a portion of the movie where they're talking, and the guy says, uh, "Ohio." The guy says, "Yay." And he says, "Kentucky." The guy says, "Yay." Uh huh. And then like Louisiana, nay. I thought it was really cool when he got to the Jersey guy. He went, "Hey, oh." <laughs> <laughs> That's my new joke. For you. <laughs> hey. Debuting here tonight. <laughs> You no. heard it here first. You know, I think they shouldn't have renamed that movie the 13th Amendment because it wasn't really about Lincoln's life. It was about the stupid passage of the 13th Amendment. But I think the problem was people thought that was either a horror movie or a sequel and were wondering where the first 12 were. So yeah. that was the well, whole too. thing about the Italians from New Jersey in that movie. When Lincoln said something like, you know, we're thinking of freeing the slaves. You know, have a guy go like this, excuse me, excuse me, we need to talk about this. <laughs> yeah. We need to talk about this. Well, uh, What's in it for us? <laughs> well, State of the Union address, you know, the president, like any president, is he says everything's great. America's never been better, even though we're in the toilet. And, and we've been in the toilet for a while. I'm not just saying that about Obama. But, but uh, Marco Rubio, though, gave the GOP response. And uh, in the middle of his speech, amazingly... I mean, people are just so fascinated by this, but it is pretty weird. He he he, he kind of like holds his finger up, like wait, hold up, and like reaches over off camera for a bottle of water, takes a swig, oh, puts you it back down. Heard about this too? He heard about this too? <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, MSNBC no one's played it twenty out. over the next twenty four hours, one hundred and fifty five times. I mean, they're making it sound <laughs> like it's, they're calling it the new Watergate. It's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> Watergate. Um, yeah. His gates opened up afterwards, I'm sure, with a lot of piss, you know? Okay. Extremely well liquidated. 
No, but uh, uh, do you think this really picture. should have been a big deal? I mean, it's like the well, dude took a swig of water. It looked a little silly, but... But that's what they uh, said. That's more memorable than what he said, which is really weird. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it, did he say oh. anything important then? You did can't. Obama? I mean, nobody really no. analyzed Obama either. Yeah. You can't be a thirsty president. No? Well, no. Fuck no, man. You're throwing salt on the game, you know? Well, like, you'd be dehydrated. The, uh, the, you know, the, the conversation about gun control and the kids... What about it? Obama? Yeah, when it was. Uh, oh, did he's, he like, we need, he's like, we need uh, justice for the Sandy Hookers, and we yeah, need yeah. just for all yeah, the dead they people. They deserve a vote. They deserve because a vote. All dead people deserve, you know, some sort of. Uh, in Chicago, they do vote. handout. Yeah. In Chicago, they do what? They do vote in Chicago. Dead. Oh, people. definitely, absolutely. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be here all week, folks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. We all know the State of the Union sucks. Donkey testes, and you know they're just papering over that. So yeah, go for it. You know, yeah. But with Rubio, though, I mean, it's like I mean, I think that what the, we're really seeing here is that MSM. The, the, I think the Democrats are probably pretty scared of this guy coming up in 2016. Yeah, he's a or they wouldn't make such a. I mean, like he's a good-looking dude. He's young. He's Latino. He breaks a lot of the stereotypes of the Republican Party. He's being all hot, white. Man. Look, yeah, he's not Chris Christie though. Oh, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, here's, here's hey, the thing. Their, their white horse, or whatever you want to call it, is Chris Christie. Yeah. Because people it's would vote, de- Democrats would vote for Chris Christie. You think so? Even if he's fat? No. Yeah. He, he's no, I think that Italian. guy says what he means. He's from Jersey. Yeah. He's from Jersey. He's old school, man. Yeah, yeah, but like he, said, he calls a spade a spade, and, and people like it, and he, he doesn't, I, he cares about his party, but he doesn't, yeah, he so. doesn't let them influence him. He ain't going to be the president. I'm just gonna say. You don't think Christie? No. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. What, what does Mike think? What do you think? I don't know. You're from I Jersey. What do you think of Christie? He'd win. Even no. if he didn't win legally, he'd win. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people want to see him in power. Well, I would. I yeah. I'm I'm a Democrat, and if the, I wow. I mean I I I'm, I'd vote Democrat. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. if any Republican, I would be like, that's the guy, Chris Christie. I want to see him sit on world leaders <laughs> he disagrees with. You know what I mean? Same for a long time. We need a mob boss. Oh yeah. Let him straighten some things out. Make a couple of phone calls. Sure. Are you kidding me? You can operate right here from the office. Mom I'm eating pasta. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm it, Italian, and that means a lot. Thank you. Yes. But, but Travis, you were saying that you thought he's too fat to be president. No, that's the misconception. Oh, America. I hope it's a misconception. No, that's not. If me. anybody's taking a look speaking, at me lately, I'm speaking for you know. Okay. Skinny people. Right. Well, I'm I wouldn't have understand. Run anyway. <laughs> no, I mean, he, he could... Give him a gym, he can he, exercise. Yeah, he could be the Jonah Hill of politics, you know? Drop all that weight. <laughs> oh, so, that's true. Do 21 Jump back. Street. Yeah, yeah. No, he, yeah, I mean... He ain't Jonah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, but, well, one thing that at least the Republicans are reacting fast with the water thing, they're say, they've already put out... I have this on my Facebook wall if anybody wants to find this. Uh, they're putting out... They're actually selling Rubio bottled water. <laughs> and they say, uh, he not only inspires you, he hydrates you too. So uh, you can order your Rubio bottled water. But uh, while, <laughs> while, the, while the government is uh, uh, you know, going broke, uh, I mean, let's face it, we're already there. I mean, and this is all a joke anyway. But um, mm-hmm. Nancy Pelosi, a woman I despise more than anybody else on earth, she has said... Uh, that uh, the, 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 somebody suggested, well, why doesn't Congress take a pay cut until they figure out this, how to balance the budget? And she actually said a pay cut undermines her, the dignity of the job of being in Congress. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like, really? That's, that's what you're going to actually say then that? she should resign. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we'll mm-hmm. take all of that money and put it towards the deficit. Mm-hmm. So I have a theory, too. All those people in Congress are overpaid. So if yes. they gave back some money, we wouldn't have a deficit. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't be a fiscal cliff. I really don't even know what all that means. Yeah, no, that wouldn't solve it. It wouldn't but solve I, it, it's but a nice it's a good start. No, no. They, they're already rich unto themselves. Yeah. They make yeah, Wall Street just... insider deals. Uh, that's how they make money. But yeah, it would but, play, pay off a nice chunk of money. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, yeah. did you see the? What do they call it when he gets elected again and they have the big party? What's uh, the election oh, the party? inauguration. The inauguration, oh, yeah. right? And how much did the inauguration cost? Oh, lots. Oh, billions. Billions. Right, billions. So they, billions with a B. I don't know about billions. They took it down this year. Watch. They took it down this year, though. Is what yeah, I they mean. took it down some level, and yeah. the corporations t- donated right. a lot. But that was also, but that, that gets a little uh, well, questionable. How much of the money are the corporations giving? Money? Yeah. They just saved all that cash, put that towards the deficit. And then, uh, What's the principle of it? Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't really make a difference in the long run. 
but it's the, it's the idea they need to lead by example. And Obama and his wife each took separate luxury vacations this week, both on a government dime, government fueled uh, planes, government security. Obama went down to Florida to study um, golf at, under Tiger Woods' coach, and Michelle went somewhere in the middle of America. But they went uh, to Denver. Each she went to Denver. Luxury vacations. What was she doing in Denver? Do we know? She was skiing with the uh, the two daughters. Yeah, you, the, you would never vacations. take a luxury vacay if you were. He a president, right? Golf well, come on. Two yeah, separate exactly. vacations, two separate security entourages, two separate... you got to strut your stuff, man. No. Hey, that's like politics. that's the equivalent of the president's guy's night out. I mean, he's got to yeah, have some yeah, time yeah. away. She's got to have some time okay. away. Yeah. I think it makes... I don't, I don't personally... They, they, they don't get enough... They take a lot of vacations. Well, I don't, I don't know how much a lot is when you're in that office. Well, well see, Bush, <laughs> Bush, Bush, Bush cut all this crap for... Um, I thought uh, Bush took more than he did. No, Bush he, took he, a lot. Bush took a lot of vacation time. Yeah, he took the most. But his were, he was kind of weird about it, though. He went to, back to his little ranch in Texas and just chopped wood and dug brush out all week. He didn't, like, you know, gallivant all over the planet or the country, like, meeting the was that, coach of Tiger Woods and stuff. Was that Nigga Head Ranch? No, that's Rick Perry <laughs> stuff. But it's all good. You know, <laughs> that's, all, that's the second time you said that word tonight. <laughs> what please. kind of show I'm is this? all about the Django stuff, you know? <laughs> Would you call me to my car? <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch yeah, out. Um, no, uh, you got to go on vacay, dog. It's that simple. Especially after a tough inauguration. A tough and, inauguration? Um, you know, I mean... Having the world worship you? Yeah, he exactly. Um, he has uh, skeet shooting to do. You know, he's got golf to play and stuff. The president's supposed to play golf. Get off his sack. All right. But I got plenty to do in the White House that has nothing to do with politics. Well, oh, people... Oh, yeah. A pool, you know... Well, speaking of people with a lot of stress and needing some time off, uh, the Pope this week, uh, Benedict, resigned, (laughs) shocking everybody because that's one of those jobs like Supreme Court Justice that you almost never resign. You hold on to it until you keel over dead. Almost never. And uh, I'm Pope John Paul. Uh, I'm Polish. I'm Catholic. I was raised to to just love the guy as a national hero, and I do. But it's like he did not look good the last like eight years that he was there. It's like, come on, anybody else should have resigned. But but Benedict, he got out while he still has a creepy smile going and looks pretty functional. Uh, They said first pope to resign since the 600s. So in 600 years. Oh, in 600 years. I thought it was since the 600s. Yeah, you know, a more modern time. Well, that's that's not so much. That's right. right. It's not so long. But I don't I mean, know why they call it resigning. Why didn't they yeah. just say, look, I'm retiring? Well, that's what you yeah. basically, yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, because uh, uh, you got nothing. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, basically, I just thought it was funny that the Vatican got hit by a lightning bolt that night. That was yeah, crazy. That's a warning. The same I think day? they're just... Yeah, so same we, night. We know it's the last pope, right? You know about all this? Yeah, that's what I want to talk oh, about is right. this other yeah. prediction. I yeah. think they're tricking him out of his job because... Uh, Who? You know, the pope. You, well, you can fool some of the papal some of the time. Oh! oh. Folks, I just want to get that. In. <laughs> this, is, this is the last pope. Yeah, well, it's no, a la- no. according to like Bible prophecy, this will be the last pope, and then the lightning strike, and then after this, you know. No, how this works is okay. There's a saint, there's a saint Malachi. I don't know what he's a saint of. There's thousands of these saints, you know. They all saint of pedophiles, or but anyway, he made all these predictions of who would be the names of the popes over the centuries, and he predicted all the way up through Benedict. Uh, and then he says, and then there shall be one more. It shall be Peter, and then it all ends. He said shall? Are you sure and, about that? Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. <laughs> and then so it all ends? The number one prediction, yeah, then, then that'll be the last pope. And he's implying the end of the world it comes with this next pope. Wow. So the, the, the weird thing is he predicted a guy named Peter again, just the way that it allegedly started with Peter the Apostle. So... Guess who is the number one Vegas odds? I think it's funny that they're doing Vegas odds. But <laughs> Vegas odds to become the Pope is a black guy from Africa whose name is Peter. Yep, yep, yep. And we will have a black Pope. Black yes. Pope. But there's also That'll the That'll be the next pope. Chris Rock movie is what I got to yeah, say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Head of, head of Vatican. <laughs> sequel to Head of State. Yeah. Beverly Hills Pope. Ah! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this hasn't happened in over 600 years. Mm-hmm. Who's the last guy? Oh, the last guy to resign? Yeah, well, I don't know. This is crazy. Was it, there really someone who resigned? Yeah. yeah. No, it was. It was when yes. there was a, a schism in the Catholic Church. A schism. He, yeah, schism. <laughs> yeah. And he uh, he resigned to like bring the church back together. He like uh-huh. stepped aside nobly, but then uh, apparently he went to hell. Oh, Exa- wow. I know, that's confirmed, obviously. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's bringing churchy <laughs> back. Sources. You know? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'm not familiar with any of this, but I did watch Ben. 
defend her last night. Does that help at all? Boy, you really yes. are watching a lot of long <laughs> that this week. Like, that was a little bit before. Her. That's a good, like, 2,500 yeah. years ago, supposedly. Just, uh, I don't know. Watch it on repeat. Yeah. But what about Ben Hur? Heston's in that, yeah, right? I was watching it. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. A lot of free time. A lot of free time. It's the Pope's favorite boring. flick. Yeah, Come exactly. on. <laughs> well, that. here's the thing, though, about this guy. Um, I, I, I also find, aside from my Chris Rock joke, the other big joke I wrote is that uh, <laughs> you uh, wrote a we, joke? we're having a black president and a black pope. <laughs> So that's why we have all the climate change because hell's freezing over. Oh, hey. bump, bump, bump. Oh. <laughs> Not, yeah. And heaven is uh, apparently twisting itself into knots and causing hurricanes to, uh, you know, wash the people away from their homes, many of whom are African American themselves. So basically, cause, it all comes together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's amazing. So, um, Cause your, here today is so religious. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Nice. Well, it is the middle of Lent. Yeah, we had Ash Wednesday this week, too. Oh, right. Right. Uh, yeah. Which leads to I'm the Catholic. next story. I went to church. Let's hear did it. you on Ash Wednesday? I did. Wow. Uh, really? Yeah. I missed it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I ate Shame meat on all you. I ate meat all day. I watched the... Give up your radio out. show for Lent, then. Yes. <laughs> ah, please. Let you take over. Please. Uh, I went to Jewish church... Um, it's, a, it's called a deli. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You went to Cantor's? Yeah, I, were, uh, I went there recently, but I didn't have any food. Oh, you got a call. I actually the... had I had some pussy at Cantor's. Not oh, a girl. Yes, they actually, the guy makes a drink there, uh, who, uh, the witch is pink. And uh, it speaking. Good. And, uh, yeah. Did you see that video, The Women of L.A.? No, what's this? You should watch that video. It's pretty good. Uh, this what? guy, DJ Krubel or oh, something. Oh, those women? Comic. He Krubel? came from New York. Anyway, watch it. It's really funny. It's just um, he's, he makes his own commentary and uh, on about the women of L.A. and how he's not getting laid. Oh, okay. And, and Polly Shore's in it, and Jaleel White uh, Urkel's in it. There's two other guys who aren't getting laid. Oh, there we go. Is he doing Urkel or is he? No, they they're actually yeah. They Polly Shore, I'm sure, gets his fair share of nice women. Uh, sure, uh, sure no. is a wild man. I don't think so. I don't know. Did I do that? Not getting laid? Yes. Well, okay, so uh, meanwhile, this uh, the, on Ash Wednesday, the other big news was that uh, Christopher Dorner, the crazy cop That's who was on a boy. rampage, he uh, wound up getting cornered into a cabin. Come on, you can't and, corner uh, the Dorner. You know this. <laughs> oh, by the way, the story's all false. Continue. So they wound up uh, supposedly getting, chasing him into a cabin. Uh, nobody knows exactly who set off a uh, shot that... Started the fire, but he went up in flames, turning into ashes on Ash Wednesday, ironically. Ooh, whoa. While the lightnings was striking. You, you do that yes. wonder how that place got set on fire. Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, no way, LAPD no, they did it. they burned it down. They burned it down. They, it's oh, on, yeah. It's on well, the audio. On the, they're like, burn this mother. Really? Yeah, they're like, burn this mother down. No, that was the hip-hop radio station. <laughs> You're confusing. They were just playing. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're playing. Were, a, I was at the club. My bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're playing a little bloodhound gang. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, listen. Uh, I have a hard time believing he was in that uh, place at all. You're telling me you this think guy, he survived? You think he wasn't let, even in there? Let me lay it out for you. You tell me this guy who went on the war path against the LAPD was shooting cops and stuff, just sat there in a burning house and burned to death. He didn't come out with his no, gun. No, he take... shot himself, man. Oh, he had yeah, shot he killed himself. himself. He, he wasn't going to. He wasn't going to prison. How convenient. <laughs> I mean, I feel like he would have at least taken a last stand and get run outside. Oh, he places. was like. He well, then was there was a chance of him surviving if the cops shot him. They they might not, you know, kill him. So he no, shot himself uh, and yeah, killed that's true. himself. That's true. No, but there was like five hundred bo- uh, uh, rounds of ammunition went off between him and the cops that were chasing him down at the last day there. Yeah, and what was really funny was there was like a Channel 2 news reporter yeah. who uh, kept getting in the way. And the cops were like, get the hell out of the way. And the guy's like, what's going on? Hey, wait, I've been shot at. Hey. Yeah. So I'm on those. I totally stupid. why these guys don't think this through. Well, like which guys? Think it through. The, the reporters are the corner guy? No, the guys that are always killing somebody, then they're on the run and they end up getting shot to death. He, well, yeah. Remember, he almost got Well, there is, there is no... He almost got yeah. Well, when you have a psychotic break, you know, it's hard to... Meticulously plan out uh, the plan intelligent is, things. The plan is you will die. Yeah, I but guess. That's I mean, I'm, I support him though. But whatever. I'm sure, I'm in the minority there. You support who? <laughs> Dorner? Yeah. Why? Well, I support his uh, man of his, you know, ideals. What ideals are those? He's Killing like, people? He, um, no, well, you know, you got to kill the right people, and I feel that. <sighs> let me put it this way: I don't think all cops deserve to die. I'm not, I'm not saying all cops are bad people, but I think there's probably many. Who do? I think there's many who've done such heinous crimes uh, that they 
it would be justified in taking them out. Um, but I don't know. I can't speak on the actual people that this happened to. And certainly you shouldn't kill innocent, like, whatever, young couples of the nephews or whatever, what he did of the cops. But, yeah, there's a lot. I mean, there, LAPD and all that, there's a lot out there that really, if you knew what they really done, they, you know, you'd have no problem snuffing them out. Hey, uh, quick question. Why did they... They, whenever a bad guy has a list of demands, they always call it a manifesto. Yeah. It sounds um, like no, it wasn't really. Demands. But it's like they they always say it's a it's a manifesto. It's not like a. It's and they never political. say here's his laundry list of things he wants. <laughs> I know. You know it's what like, I mean? Or what if a woman wrote it? Would it be a woman manifesto? Oh, or, uh, hang on. It's like they're in the movies. They have a manifesto. How come this guy didn't have one? He does. He does. He it's did, like, what was his? Uh, it, it, oh, it was it like 14 lit. pages long. It was, oh, it was insane. On, it was on I mean, of course it was insane, yeah. but you can read the whole thing. And he's doing all these complaints yeah, about police. Dorner, Dorner, yeah. Dorner, yeah. pages yeah. on Facebook. Yeah, he was saying it that It sounds he, like something you'd order at Taco Bell. You know what I mean? Actually, I heard Zuckerberg had him taken out for using too much bandwidth. You know? They got the money. They could pay the hitmen. <laughs> no, so he, no, he, Jews, he okay? listed all these demands <clears throat> about... Uh, the cop reforms and the cops getting in trouble for their abuses yeah. and, and insisting that he was innocent when he got mm-hmm. canned by the cops and they deserved another hearing. But then he gets into things like who he thinks are effing awesome and that's how he put it. Like, Charlie Sheen, you're effing awesome. Oh, and yeah. then like and all these other like celebrities. And it's like, what does that have to do with anything? But Charlie well, Sheen re- returned a favor by recording a little video in which he said, hey, you know, if, if you like me, I need you to like calm down think about things and then call me let's work this out but then he doesn't give his phone number it's like how's he supposed to call we Charlie all got that out? number man if you just call the crack dealer he Pretty will much. forward you yeah. so it's all good um yeah he had a, he didn't have a list of demands he just said you know it's really the manifesto is really a right-wing propaganda piece because it's saying this guy is a fan of nancy pelosi who you said is your most hated person yep. more than freddy krueger <laughs> yep. um he loves nancy pelosi piers morgan Charlie Sheen, like he sent a package to Anderson Cooper, who has a ton of packages to deal with already, if you catch he's my drift. He's got a package, I'll Oh, yeah, he's got a package on him already. <laughs> so, um, hey uh, So, yeah, basically, um, I'm, I'm hoping slash expecting the next round of this vigilante justice, which is going to be like a group effort, I think. Yeah, it's going to be like, a, yeah, it'd be like a team of crazy dudes. It'll be like a Stallone movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's packing to go on an asteroid to take a trip. Maybe yeah. Nancy Pelosi can go with me. Oh, hell I hate yeah. her myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know who I hate more than Nancy Pelosi, though? Know? The people who gave her the job. No kidding. That would be How us. Did she get in there? San Francisco. San Francisco, man. Hey, hey. They're crazy. Hey. What? Yeah, I know. Uh, people vote. Uh, here's okay. I thought of something. The same people. I'm sure you guys are all Super Bowl football fans and everything. Uh, but the same, roughly the same amount of people who watch the Super Bowl are the are is the same amount of people that vote for the presidency. So uh-huh. if you squirt it out like that, squirt. I don't know, that Gross. makes no sense. If you hash it out like that, you could sort of see who America is. Like that's the people picking. You know, who Nancy Pelosi or Obama? Whoa, shit! I hit my nose to the mouth guard. Um, so, you know, it's that segment of uh, America. And, yeah, I don't know. If you, once you get in, you stay in. How long has Barbara Boxer been a senator? Yeah, well, I mean, when I was in, like, fourth grade, she ran. Yeah. The well, they time. have that list, that, that um, petition website, right? The yeah. White House has. And now they had, remember that Darth Vader thing? A couple oh, yeah, of yeah, ago? yeah. Death Star, yeah. 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 yeah, they were talking about building a Death Star. And then the White House was like, <laughs> okay, now we've upped the number of uh, yeah. Before we respond to your petition, we've upped the number of people. So now it's like 25,000 signatures. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm surprised at is, and maybe it's on there and I just don't know it, but is there one on there for term limits for Congress? Probably. And, probably. Oh, that's no. the thing. Like, if, if that was on there, I think everybody would sign that because no, term limits would. on senators, congressmen, and all that stuff. No, but they would block it, you know, like the chick at the club's ugly friend, you know? They would, uh, <laughs> they, uh, it's the, like, yeah, for the seventh wheel. Basically, it shows you where America's head is at when we could petition for anything from the government. We ask for a Death Star, not like a free energy machine or, you know, some sort of electric car, or like food creator from nothing. No, that's more blowing <laughs> shit up power. That's what we want. Um, very good. New, uh, new Call of Duty coming soon. <laughs> So, I mean, who do you guys think? Uh, will there be a movie based on Dorner, or was it not quite dramatic enough? Well, Michael Clark oh, Duncan is dead, so I know. no. LL Cool J, though. Yeah, Back on the pounds. Yeah. yeah, to have him. Um, this is Fat LL. Well, it's funny because they said they were worried about Dorner showing up at the Grammys, which I, after watching the Grammys, I wish he would have. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but yeah, there was a lookalike that showed up, so maybe That's I don't awesome. know. Awesome. Yeah. That'd be a good idea. It'd be like the Black Rambo. Yeah. Yeah. Like take out the black keys. Rambo. Yeah, Rambo. Yeah. Um, Folks. Yeah, he is the Black Rambo. Um, but you know, he. I mean. There's good shit. He didn't take roids as far as I... The point is, was he juicing? That's what's important. Yeah, Did he shoot a important. needle in his butt? Did he have help with killing the cops? Any outside help due to a needle in his butt? I don't know the world we'd ever know. But uh, the, uh, another thing this week, uh, of course, the Carnival cruise ship. I mean, boy, uh, I just am amazed at... Um, I dug up like an old commercial from uh, the Carnival Cruises with like, you know... Oh, you can do anything you choose. Da, 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 da. The world can see you now on Carnival Cruises. And it's like, boy, you took you know, me there, Carl. You me, yeah. Just and it was now. Kathy Lee Gifford, <laughs> which makes me want to, like, crap my pants. But it was just amazing that everything went wrong on this boat that you can possibly imagine. And then, like I mentioned, uh, they tried to tow it to shore. The tow rope broke. The, 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 they get to land finally. The buses broke down, taking them back to their, like, home airports. It's yeah, like, man, hear, can you imagine the lawsuit? And they're offering people, you have a choice, either sue us or you get your cruise fee returned. Another return cruise. And another cruise at $500. I hear James Cameron. going to be Cameron, dumb enough to take that. I hear James Cameron's working on a treatment for the, the <laughs> flick right now. Well, yeah. it'll be like more like a TV movie because it's not really a historic yeah, I event. I've been on the cruise ships a lot and I, I've never seen any problems. I yeah. can't imagine what it would be like to be stuck out there. Like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, they shit. They were shitting off the edge, or it's didn't like work. there's a whole bathroom oh, thing. So yeah, well, the, no, the bathrooms yeah. didn't work, and they had to go in bags, and then yeah. they would put the bags in the hallway, and they would have employees. to pick up the bag. Yeah, they yeah. would. Then they would take it to the cafeteria and have I, a. I can't even food imagine. Fight. What do you do? Aim and a, 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 what do you? What do you, you in a bag? Yeah, it's not that hard. I mean, well, it depends you know, on how got, big the bag is. I mean, no. like you do that quite often. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, in my experience, <laughs> well, it'll you be no, do it, Carl. It would be no different than where I live in Brentwood with people walking their little sh- shitty ass chihuahuas around and then, you know, having a bag. They scoop up all the turds in and walk around with it swinging from their hands and everything. So, so if they did they have that, power though, too? Did they have power or was that out too? There's enough lifeboat, lifeboats to have everybody on a boat and split. Yeah. So I don't know why they didn't do that. Well, it was in the middle of freaking nowhere. I don't know how they would get them all they out of the life. Like land. an ocean? Where were they Why at? did they bring out another cruise ship or a, or a destroyer or something like a <laughs> Navy <laughs> ship and go save them? That's what they should have done. Got the Navy God. ship. The Navy should have um, just gone and helped them. I mean, out. at least we'd be doing something. Well, they made it back, so clearly it all went okay. No, but yeah, it was so, such a lovely return. Actually, it wouldn't have made sense. Yeah, it would have been a good idea if the Navy would have done it, but that would have cost gas money and stuff, and then... Better, better for that than the president's separate trip. Anyway. Such a bad time to have a high fiber diet. <laughs> oh. That's all I'll say. But as a comic who's done cruise ships, uh, well, you how would a... you have handled that, Mike? If you were trapped as a I comic, guess I would have had all new material. <laughs> 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 An ocean of new material. You would hope that you wouldn't sneak up <laughs> the yeah, joint, huh? Shitty act. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean that's uh, <laughs> they, that was the, actually the opening skit on SNL. Ter- oh, that's terrible right. show. But um, it was, no, the, it was a pretty funny skit. No, 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 I like no, that. The they show were trying is to read terrible. The, they're yeah. trying to read the uh, newspaper. Like, hey, we got yeah. some news for you. Hey, can't read that. No, can't read that. No, yeah. But how was the Pope? They made it like the Pope resigning was bad news. Like we're supposed to feel sad about it within that skit. Do you see oh what no, I'm because they're saying because somebody goes, God is dead. They're like, no, he's not. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the Pope's resigned. That's why yeah. it was funny in that time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I thought it was a funny skit. Well, Nietzsche hasn't put out a new book in a while, so yeah. yeah Nietzsche, so, how uh, that work out for him? Being a yeah. super atheist. You still died bitch I know he died of like syphilis Christopher Hitchens go to not hell <laughs> All right. so uh, moving, moving on moving on I'm trying to get past the insane I, I was, I was going to read some of the details of the, the boat but I think we've all heard them a lot but um, maybe we should call it Carney Cruise Lines yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey Shore Carney because it's more yeah more cheaper and you know yeah, I wonder, don't you think, they said that they're going to take the boat out of service till April. I'm like, you know what, you might want to rename the boat. Uh, anybody got suggestions what they could rename the boat? They should, it's known as the Triumph right they now. Should <laughs> rename, they should rename it Atlantic City Boardwalk, <laughs> part two. Yeah. But actually, it should pull up into the boardwalk until they get like all the Ferris wheel and all that shit that they have there. Then that could be the replacement they want boardwalk. To leave the, the, some people were proposing leaving... The amusement park, including the uh, Ferris wheel in the water and making it a tourist attraction just on the freak, freak yeah, show it's nature. it's like the next Atlantis or something. I don't mean the resort with, like, dolphins swimming around, but, you know, sunken civilizations. Just like this show is sinking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, easy. So 
So, uh, um, what, what do you think? Does anybody have any opinions? Uh, can Carnival rebound for this? Or are they going to have to declare like the world's I, greatest I sale? think Princess Cruises are going to get a lot of yeah. business. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's the cruise line that I was on, Princess. Oh, yeah? yeah they still do the whole thing about the love boat. Oh, do they treat Every you like a princess? Watching the love boat. Was yeah, oh, the night. love boat a princess uh, boat? What do you yeah. mean? It, it's on, so they play it on the TV sets in yeah, there? Yeah, they do. Really? It's like the right. only show. show well, and they did a TV second then. love boat a couple yeah. years ago, right? In the 90s? Or oh, yeah, UPA. Yeah. <laughs> did your cruises have midgets and suave, like, bartenders and stuff? That are... No, there's no midgets, but there's a lot of, a lot of entertainment. And a lot of love. Midges. And a lot of old people, too, so the boat broke down, I don't know what that would but it's love. It's well, you exciting. Could it runs on love. That's yeah. why it lives. So. Come aboard. We're expecting you. <laughs> yeah. See, and if the Prince's cruise ship broke down, they'd have been okay because all those old people shit in bags anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Colostomy. Hey, they're ready for them. Yeah. And we're all Colostomy. headed there. You, colostomy. Yeah, exactly. Basically, if vehicles could run on love, we'd have a real fuel problem on our hands. <laughs> okay? Because there's a shortage of that shit. Well, uh, let's begin a shortage of shit. No. Uh, so, uh, another in our sports news this week. Oh, no. Even the sports is all freaky. Uh, that oh, guy Pistorius. I love this one too. Yeah. The hey, Blade Runner. Screw that guy. Man, that guy is like amazing. He gets the whole world to love him because he can run on well, middle maybe, legs. And maybe then... he thought his chick was a replicant. <laughs> maybe. No, yeah, he shot his girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. He, yeah. He thought uh, she looks sort of like Sean Young mm. in 83. And he's like, bitch, you're gone. But yeah, so he shot his girl thinking she was an intruder. He shot her four times or whatever. That's, what, he, that's what he said? That's what they're saying? That's yeah. all I heard. He could have just kicked her with those fucking banana legs <laughs> that he has, steel thing. He's he a shot cheater. Her by accident? That, it was a that's what I heard. Hey, yeah, yeah, he's like, his girl comes to his house. That's what he's claiming, but there was a history of, uh, yeah. of yeah. domestic uh, Abuse. incidents there. And yeah. then uh, she also apparently was stabbed as well as shot. <laughs> did, did he used to walk all over her? Really fast. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's one thing to shoot somebody in the dark, and then, but you got to get close to stab them, and you know who that is. You know what I mean? That's, yeah, man. He, there's no. Sta- it was a shot. It was gun violence. The topic is big right now, and this is just another story. Well, Ray Lewis got away with murdering somebody. That right? was knife. So. That was a knife. He actually, I think, he held someone while his homeboy stabbed or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. He was he involved. Just witnessed it. But you know, he, oh, I thought, oh, he wasn't the actual. No, no, he was. He was involved. He was like physically involved. He was there. But I don't know if he it. actually stuck the knife. He was more like holding a dude while another guy was shanking wow. him. Wow, something there. like that. He was there. I was there. Yeah, that's my crew. Oh, Ray was there. Yeah, those are what I call and my Scott. peeps. Scott. Okay. But yeah, I was. There. But um, no, this uh, I only heard the brief mention of this Oscar. Uh, Pistorius. And what I, a great name! He got all pissed off yeah, on her. I, Pistorius. I, yeah, I, I feel. <laughs> I remember seeing him at the Olympics, and I'm like, wow, that's inspirational, yet not fair. <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought it was unfair, too. Yeah. Why well, was it unfair? Because, because it gave him an extra spring in his step or something? Yeah. That's not normal. Well, but they the sh- thing was, it, he didn't win anything. He so didn't? it wasn't oh, he bionic. Didn't? Oh. Yeah. Oh. He didn't do he did. that well. I, well I don't He's like the $6,000 man. Yeah, he didn't do that well. <laughs> Not I mean, he didn't bionic. do bad, I don't think, but I, he didn't win I any. think they should put him together with Lance Armstrong, and he should be forced to inject the roids into his butt with his feet, with his, like, metallic feet. Well, I'm just thinking that Lance Armstrong's like, thank God somebody, this guy came along, gets the heat off of him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Unless they didn't kill anybody, you yeah. know? He's, uh, he's trying to run away from the story, so to speak. He's Man, trying to pe- I, I pedal. This guy's excuse is going to be. Now, what's your excuse? Max is saying it. Oh yeah. yeah, I thought it was uh, someone breaking in. <laughs> and I, un- I, I unleashed some uh, bullets yeah, and a knife, and I stabbed it because I thought for sure it was an impersonator. Yeah, there's <laughs> a there's a new uh, I think there's a new movie coming out, Oscar Unfooted, and uh, he's gonna you know use his gun uh, a lot. Oh, sort of like Jingo and Jingo. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. Um, so uh, basically. What was you going to say? They had a good center at last year to Jesus on cross, DJ. Oh, yeah, did Jesus, Jesus on cross. cross and he comes off the well, cross. Well, we all know that was the satanic, anti-Christian, uh, Jewish, Zionist wing of, uh, you know, the entertainment complex trying to sully Jesus' name. I know all about it. I watch videos on the internet, so <laughs> I know about this stuff. Well, in other sports news, uh, um, they're freaking out this morning. I noticed uh, that a landmark has been hit. Michael Jordan has turned 50. You mean the black Nazi? What? The Black Hitler? 
I uh, don't know what the hell you're talking uh, about. Look into the mustache controversy. We'll get to it later. Well, then talk about it. I mean, I'm bringing it up. Michael Jordan turned 50. What's well, the black Nazi? In one of his uh, commercials, he had this little Hitler no, mustache. No, not one of his commercials. He rocked the Hitler mustache for the last, like, five years. I mean, they showed it in the commercial. But well, the point is he turned 50, and he really is kind of a jerkwad under the hood, like, beneath the surface. Like, he's not satisfied with being the best basketball player ever. Uh, okay. Because well, well, he made a speech when he got inducted to the Hall of Fame. He was like, well, fuck the management, basically. He's like, we're playing, man. Fuck the management. You said we, we're not important. I don't know. Go watch it. Well, so what were you saying, Scott? I mean, uh, uh, about The mustache? That. Yeah. Well, I noticed they did this one commercial where he's on an airline with Jer- Jerry Seinfeld. No, not Jerry Seinfeld. Was he the was, Haynes no, he, yeah, it was a Haynes commercial. He did one with Charlie Sheen, but I don't know if yeah. that's what you're talking But anyway, about. Yeah. I, I noticed the mustache, and I remember hearing the controversy yeah. about it. And you would watch this commercial, and they creatively shot to be like, you'd be like, is that, is that a small little mustache? Why would he want to? Why would even want? Why would a black guy want to do that anyway? Well, it's no. Why home, would anybody? I don't, anybody, why? but especially a black guy. Well, it's a home it's Robert a Mugabe sort of style. Um, you know, things come back around into style. You know, eventually people will wear hats with suits again. You know, fedoras and shit like that. But uh, until then, uh, you know, we're going to rock Hitler mustaches. And they cut around it. It's sort of like... Yeah, they did. Yeah, it's like And they Mark creatively Hamill. lit. Yeah, and they would like... You, you, you couldn't watch him for too long because <laughs> they, they would go to this other guy talking. And, all that. and they talk like, about bacon neck and all this stuff. Like, you don't want bacon neck in your uh, Fruit of Loom sweatshirts and, and all this. It's not your problem, Carl. Okay. But... Yeah, he's the black Hitler. Uh, he, basically, he's the Superman of basketball... Uh, they took out his dad for gambling debts. His dad got killed, and now he's bitter. He had a big gambling thing. Yeah. He's basically, he's a giant douchebag. Is, if that, I'm trying to make that point. Boy, you're really I, going for the popular vote here with a... I used to like him. My, <laughs> name, my name is Jordan. No, I mean, he is a giant... I'm, I'm, not be, I'm not even saying that for shock value. Like, he is a douchebag. He's uh-huh. on that Lance Armstrong level. He's so competitive. He used to... Like, when they were in the Olympics uh, in 92, the Dream Team, not Johnny Cochran and them, the actual basketball players. Yeah. Uh, the uh, yeah, they would do crazy shit. I forgot what it was. They would like, they would mess with the other team. The teams that they were beating by sixty points, you know, from freaking Nicaragua or whatever. They would like do shit. They would taunt them. They would mess with them outside of the the court and everything. Like they would like go to their hotel rooms and you know spray shaving cream and weird, you know, just to fuck with them because they're uh, you know they're vindictive. Well, maybe, maybe that's what you need to be a successful athlete. Absolutely. You got to be a douchebag or something. Yeah, yeah possibly. Uh, you don't have to be, but it's just that competitive edge that goes overboard. And then, uh, you know, then you start to resemble a very dark version of uh, the German chancellor. Wow. Yeah. I think you got to be a douchebag in most businesses mm-hmm, to get mm-hmm. anywhere. You especially be a comedy. Dick. Yeah. Yeah. The sharper elbows, right? Yeah. The sharper your elbows, especially on the court, on the track, whatever. You're going to get ahead. Yeah. But we need more nice people, don't we, Carl? We do need more nice people. <laughs> Not in this room. Bitches to knock out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Exactly. I'm turning over a new leaf now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shocking yeah. my elbows. Well, so the uh, uh, last couple of uh, stories here. Uh, next week, uh, we're going to be doing the show on Friday uh, because of, uh, or this week, I should say, because it's up against uh, the Oscars, and I'm a... Uh, I'm a totally hopeless. Uh, you want to watch that gay fest? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, uh, um, predictions? anybody any predictions? Oh, about I the do. Oscars? Yeah. Oh, I do. Uh, um, I predict that uh, people are going to look sexy on the red carpet. So, I think Seth to place Mc- bets. I think Seth MacFarlane's going to kill it as the uh-huh. host. You think so? Yeah, I think he'll do yeah, fine. Yeah, he is. He's good, man. He was. He was really he good might on. Have some class. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's right. coming down to Argo yeah. versus um, Lincoln. Argo versus Lincoln yeah. for best picture, right? It looks like Argo's going to take it. I haven't seen I Lincoln. So. I'm sure it's really boring. Uh, dude, I just really boring. boring. Uh, yeah, I thought Argo was, was not great, but probably better than Lincoln. Uh, I, like I, like it. It. What you, what did I was close to Argo, man. I oh, Argo, yeah. Show. We're talking yeah, about Lincoln. Was was Lincoln. Lincoln was boring. I don't know if Argo was great. I thought Argo was great, too. Yeah. yeah. Django, Django's the best flick. Django I, I love Django. That Jamie Foxx was great. Christoph Waltz, that guy. It's amazing. Yeah. I didn't see Django. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I like Tarantino. Like the musical choices like he Western, used in that movie were amazing. Black dude shooting racist white people. It's Excellent. Yeah, it's, it's, the it's the ultimate but underdog look, story. It's the ultimate underdog. Argo's gonna take it. Ben Affleck's gonna show the world why we've loved him, and I am making quotes uh-huh. um, for so long. 
And yeah, he's going to get oh, his man. nice little best director, you know? And then he'll go home with everything. He'll have Good his statue, him, he'll have his chick with her firm ass. I've worked with her. He has kids, her. he has family. Really? Yeah. You know? Ben Affleck? He yeah. Was, were you in Geely or what? No. I was in Alias. That's cool. Oh, you were okay. in Alias? Yeah. He one, was there? I had one line. No, no, I worked with Jennifer Oh, her. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah? Did you port that, bro? Did you work it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she was married to Ben, I'm sure, at the oh. time. Yeah, but you could kick his ass. <laughs> or they were dating or something. Oh, there, yeah, there's... Uh, so there's a story, uh, you know, Peter Berg is actor slash director. You probably know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he like, well, he made a movie with Jennifer Garner, The Kingdom, with oh, yeah, Jamie Foxx. And apparently he like accidentally punched her in the stomach oh. or whatever. Like he was doing some press thing. He's like, yeah, check it out. She's tough, right? Boom. Hits her in the ribs or whatever. And Ben Affleck was there. And he's like, oh, shit, sorry, Ben. And Ben didn't do anything. What a puss, uh, man. He's like, oh, it was awkward when I punched his wife in the stomach. Well, what's he I, supposed to do? I mean, if it was what? an accident, she was all right. I mean, you, got a, you got a wild out on Peter Berg, man. Just because just you did Battleship doesn't mean you're a warrior. I, I, I punched uh, J-Lo one time. Yeah, exactly. You and did? That's fine. That's My, fine dude. Your hand bounced off her ass. At a back. press conference. Yeah, wobble, wobble, wobble. Yeah, no, exactly. um, you punched J-Lo? At a press conference for uh, the backup plan, which deserved a punch. Mm-hmm. Um, she, she, uh, come, she, uh, I had to ask this embarrassing question. My boss goes, oh, you can go to the press conference. I, was, I work for Pasadena Weekly, but I, I was there trying to write it for other places I work with. And he was like, well, you can go, but you have to ask her what it was like shooting in Pasadena. Because I shot some of it there. And she goes, really? That's your question? I'm like, <laughs> the horror was laughing at me. I'm like, I know. I know. I'm sorry. So then when it was over, they wouldn't let me ask another real one, a better question. So when it was over, I'm, I'm uh, putting on my jacket and I slung my arm out and I make contact and I'm like, oh shit, who did I hit? I look, the whole room went silent and it's her and I hit her in the shoulder. Oh, but just like within like a half foot of her face, right? And, uh, and so everybody's like, who? And I'm like, <gasps> And then, she, and then she walks away, and she just looks at me. She walks away about uh, three feet. Then she turns around, and she goes, hey, think fast. And she went, bam, and like punched at me. And of course, she was like too far away to hit me, but I was, and I, and I flinched. And then well, she laughed. And they mistook your body for hers, right? Yeah. Oh, of course. Getting, all the paparazzi <laughs> looking around. I never yeah. hit anybody. didn't know it was coming. Yeah, exactly. So what? I never hit anyone. You yeah. know what it was coming. Well, it's the one you don't see that hurts you the most, right? Exactly. The one, the punch that comes from way out, out there. So, uh, oh, when the bat hits you in the back of the head. <laughs> well, I also sneezed on Michael Jordan's head <laughs> All right, almost Mr. Pesci. one time. What's about Michael Jordan? I almost jo- sneezed on Michael Jordan's head. This you is should have favorite. sneezed on his little punk ass head. What, just because you won those championships? I'm telling you, you've got to <laughs> monitor this guy. Uh, yeah, you know, you got, when you come close, the point, when we come in contact with, uh, these celebrities, you got to give them some sort of disease or punch or something, <laughs> cough on them, whatever you got to do to remove them from our culture. Wow. And on to the song. Okay. So, uh, lastly, <laughs> Walmart this week announced that, uh, their sales are actually plummeting, which they were always sort of recession proof. Cause you know, if you didn't have anything, you couldn't afford anything, you can still go to Walmart and buy your crap. But they're saying their sales are actually going down double digits percentage-wise. So things are uh, some scary shit's going on still in the economy. And uh, so we're going to close this week with Scott Vinci presenting a song about dollar stores. Ladies and gentlemen, Mm. Scott Vinci. Kick some ass, Scott. Yeah, the economy's hitting us a little tough, Carl. So I I wrote a song about where I shop. I shop at the dollar store That's why I wrote this musical score You see my budget is lean My wallet is tight Dollar store, you're my birthright Some things I buy at the dollar store Are noodles and sponges and tampons galore I use the plastic applicator as a shot glass The smaller ones hold about an ounce of alcohol and the larger ones hold about two ounces. Ladies, you know who you are. Dollar store, dollar store. If dollars were meat, I'd be a carnivore. You see, you shouldn't buy everything here. Have you ever heard of Spider-Man beer? (laughs) Or what about their batteries? Theirs are made of apples and cheese. You see, they have some things that I don't trust. Like who would buy a Britney Spears bust? Well, maybe I would, because on those lonely nights, I could always take it home and, you know, motorboat. Dollar store, dollar store. A good way to say, hey, I'm really freaking poor. Dollar store, 
dollar store. If dollars were porno, I'd be hardcore. You see, I needed a coffee cup that was thicker. The one I bought there is made of wicker. And I did buy some cheap shampoo. I managed to lose my pubic hair too. I can only buy certain things or I might die of lead poisoning. Because we all know, yeah, we all know their stuff is imported from China. <clears throat> and we all know that China is made of lead. Dollar store, dollar store, a good way to say, hey, I'm really freaking poor. Dollar store, dollar store, if dollars were books, they'd be folklore. Dollar store. Wow. <clears throat> That Thanks folklore. a lot. That, I did that, not that, get that. That really was line. insightful. It, yes. it taught me so much about the economy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really hey, I shows, just said that's where I shop. Okay. It shows what economic <laughs> level this podcast is at. <laughs> yeah, folklore, yeah, we're, baby. We're, we're operating with duct tape and uh, uh, twist ties. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us uh, to the end of our episode. Uh, anybody got anything you want to tout, Mike? Uh, are you playing anywhere this coming week? Well, if you log on to mikemarino.net, you'll see where I'm playing. All across the country. This week I'll be right here at the Lab Factory in Hollywood, sponsored by the Dollar Store. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Travis. Uh, what's up, Tiger Lily? Next Monday, February oh, nice. 25th. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, that's at the Hollywood uh, Bar and Grill at Sunset and Gower. Yeah. Go check it out. Yeah. What are you, what are you looking at me for? <laughs> uh, look at my YouTube account, Scott Sycamore. You'll see, you'll see some shit. <laughs> okay. And uh, I just released a new video on Funny or Die. It's called It's Just High. Uh, check that out. Or wow. you can just type in my name, Scott Vinci, V-I-N-C-I. And the there's Scott four Vinci or five probably. videos on there. Sweet. Yeah, check them out. All right. And then uh, tomorrow night I'm hosting the Pajama Party show here on RadioTitans.com at 10 o'clock with yeah, yeah. special guest J. Chris Newberg plus performance poet Kezi Christian oh. and house band Small Talk with my co-hosts Adam Grotman and Christina Myers. Uh, the premiere episode was freaking amazing. <laughs> Download it um, and uh, tune in tomorrow as well. And uh, Grand Theft Audio in the morning from 9 to 11 tomorrow, they have Mather Zickel, the star of the new Adult Swim hit, Newsreaders. All right, till then, we'll uh, cut you loose. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen, motherfucker.